In Great Britain, solar generation is increasing by 10% each year. And by 2035, 70% of the energy produced at midday will be renewable. But there's a problem. As more solar floods the market, power prices collapse, right when solar is producing the most of its power. So, let's take a look at what's happening. This is the Merit Order stack for a typical day in 2025. It ranks generators by their marginal cost, the minimum price they're willing to accept to produce electricity. At the bottom are must-run assets like nuclear and early subsidy renewables that generate regardless of price. In the middle, wind, solar and other renewables which can bid just below zero due to their renewable origin subsidies. At the top end of the stack are interconnectors and finally thermal plants with high marginal costs tied to volatile fuel prices. Power prices are set by the marginal generator, the last unit needed to meet demand. In 2025, midday demand ranges from 33 to 58 gigawatts. At these levels, gas sets the price most of the time, meaning solar can earn strong revenues while generating at zero cost. But by 2035, that changes. Even though demand increases, more renewable penetration means solar becomes the marginal producer on 80 days of the year and prices clear below zero. That means no margin for solar producers and for many, no CFD payment either. To find out how developers can future-proof their solar revenues, head over to the Modo Energy Terminal. I'll see you there.